I um that was part of my homily too, the first week of Advent, um, in preparing for the coming of Christ at Christmas, um, and remembering his second coming, those two senses of preparation. But then I really honed in on that third sense. Um, just like we can have a bad season uh, in our lives uh, uh, in preparing for Christmas, and where you know our hearts are a little bit more mediocre than it should be, perhaps, um, so too do we experience that coming to Mass every Sunday. And you know, I, I said, like, when we come to Mass, are you well prepared to receive our Lord? Like, if you complain that I'm not getting a lot of, I'm not getting anything out of Mass, mm. is that more on you or? The mass, <laughs> right, right. Um, like w- when you come to mass, like are you? What kind of music are you listening to? Mm-hmm. Are you having frivolous conversations? Are you scrolling on your phone, and then you just expect to just plop down in the pew and then get the thing, <laughs> yeah. get the thing? You know, yeah, yeah. your mind is somewhere else, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, if you want to, if you want again, just like if you want to experience the joy at Christmas, or you want to experience the coming of Christ at mass. Yeah, you have to prepare well. I feel like um, that's really just, I mean, if you're going to take it a little bit more psychological, that's like everything, though. Like, if you want to experience this thing, any, yeah. there has to be a preparation. That's true. Like, I didn't get the best workout. It's like, well, how was your sleep? Yeah. What are you eating? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Like, my marriage is not as great as it could be. It's like, well, how are you preparing? How are you casting things off and yeah. rebuilding it? It's like, the, the things that are going away in order to restructure aren't necessarily bad. They need to be in the right place. Yeah. So, it's like every experience, like, how is my job? Like, my job is not that great. It's like, well, are you preparing for your job? Like it, it you seems like proper attention there's to, a way to, yeah, yeah to, to prepare and experience something the right way. And then you could ask in a fractal sense, like, well, how do we like have a meta preparation for all the things? Yeah. And that's what liturgy is. You know, like liturgy mm-hmm. is, is preparing you for the fractal elements of experience. Yeah. 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 That's a really good point. In yeah. everything, there's a sense of preparation. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, there's different uh, layers of preparation for mass and you know it really does begin like the morning of Mm -hmm. um it's you know i think it's what it's it's like immediate proximate Mm -hmm. um remote or something like that yeah like different um so it's yeah it's like what what were you uh listening to or not listening to on the ride in to mass or your drive in um like you said how was your sleep Mm -hmm. (laughs) um uh how was how's your prayer life in general Mm -hmm. yeah absolutely Um, yeah you know when and then all the way to you're right to the moment you get into mass, yeah. mm-hmm. but all these things are playing. Yeah, right. At, at how much you get out of mass. Because yeah. once you start to ask those questions, it bleeds into other aspects of your life um, that are conflicting. So it's like, how much do you want to ex- have a good experience at mass? Well, yeah, because that would that's... determine what you listen to prior, whether yeah, or not exactly. you get a good night's sleep, whether or not you're maintaining the hour fast. Like all mm-hmm. of those things, like help you orient around liturgy and like your whole week should be like that it's yeah. like well you know sunday wasn't as restful because i had so much to do it's like well how are you structuring your week yeah so that sunday is a period of rest and then and then that structures out to like months and seasons and yeah. how is your advent because it's just like constant circles exactly. <laughs> getting bigger and bigger no exactly and it's i'm gonna i'm sorry i'm gonna go on a rant here let's go <laughs> no, <laughs> no no just this idea that people some people complain about not getting a lot out of mass and then they give up on the whole church thing entirely. Mm -hmm. It's such a naive way to approach anything with any semblance of um, uh, like long lasting roots. (laughs) You don't like, like the mass is something that's so ancient and has stood for, you know, 2000 years. And you're going to say, I don't get anything out of it, and I'm just going to give up on it. Instead of actually saying, like, why do people find this attractive? Mm. Why has it lasted 2,000 years? Like, why do people continue to go to Mass? And, like, research it, you know? Um, yeah. Like, even aside from preparing, um, you know, by, you know, listening to right kind of music or not listening to music before Mass, all those things that we just mentioned, do your research. Google what is the mass. <laughs> you know? yeah. um, like, there's so many yeah. resources that can actually teach you, like, yeah. what you're supposed to, like, what the mass is about. Um, and so, this idea that, like, I don't get a lot of it uh, out of mass. That's why I don't go. Mm-hmm. It's like, do you approach everything like that? You right. know, anything with a lasting semblance of quality, mm-hmm. um, or you know, or again, like, it's been around for so long. Right. You know, that's like someone picking up Shakespeare. And saying, I don't get anything out of it. This is a stupid book. <laughs> right. It's like you do realize like that's stood for, you know, yeah. four, five hundred, six hundred years. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah. like, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. You know? That definitely so. seems like the role of the laity in that, like, really check yourself before you discard that. Um, 
and figure out like why is it that this is not clicking for you. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think there's some what of an analogy where it's like if you're if you're saying you're not getting a lot out of working out, it's like really do some soul searching as to why. Mm-hmm. Then there's also the flip side of like if you own a gym, you should make that gym an experience that wants that is like easing the experience of the people coming in. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of the role of the priest and the liturgy. And like, there, there's sure. like, there's legitimate critiques for that. But if you're not the priest, then you have to fulfill your role as the lady as yeah. doing that soul searching. And that, no, that working. is fair. And that's, and, and this is not an excuse to say like, well, that means that the priest don't have to put any inter- effort into preaching sure. or, you know, don't have to make the liturgy beautiful. Of course, all that is yep. important, but like on an individual level, mm-hmm. what are you doing yep. to get the best experience? Yeah. So, 